would have played you less if they could to like you know, you could go harder for fewer plays. Is that did you feel like did you feel aware and tear like uh, last year that uh, you, know, you maybe had a lot of good plays and was healthy? Nah, I just really didn't. I just didn't really think about it like you know the wear and tear. You know, just just go out there and have yeah. fun. You know, playing with playing with my guys. That's that's how I see it. So, you know, just I just when my name's called a fun and when I'm out there on the field, I just gotta do and execute my side of the best I can. Good to see you. Thank you. Feel a little odd wearing that without your pants? Yeah, it does. It does, you know, it's a little <laughs> it just seems like a little kid's shirt, but you know, you gotta get used to it. No, uh, not to get back to the three hundred, but you're what, twenty five pounds away from Lewis Knicks now? Yeah, that's scary to say, man. That's that's scary to say. I would never think in a million years when I first came here I'll be this big. But you know, body works in mysterious ways. Now uh, you mentioned you talked about Julian Lynch and Williams. What about Lewis? You seen from his you know what, Lewis, he's um, he's improved his game tremendously. You know, he's he's lost some weight since he's been here, and uh, he's working hard on the field, and uh, you know, he's getting in the playbook as well. So. Uh, you know, Lewis knows that. You know, until we get on the field, he knows what he needs to do. You know, he needs to. Uh, you know, he needs to work. You know, work hard. I'm not saying he does not work hard at all, but you know, just gotta work hard. You know, keep doing what you're doing. As even last year as a junior, one of the older guys on the team, were you a little frustrated when he came in, a little over, and, and didn't really seem possibly as invested as he could be? Say that again. Last year when he came in, a little bit overweight, and, and didn't really seem like he was. He didn't play because he wasn't ready. Were you a little frustrated as, as an upperclassman? No, not not at all. I was not frustrated at all. You know, like I said, I got I got complete faith in the coaching staff, and they know they know what they're doing. And you know, I'm not going to question anything that they do. But uh, you know, I'm, I mean, I've taken that you know that last last season. You know, Lewis getting ready for this season. I think that helped a lot. You know, uh, he had a he had a good spring, and uh, you know, he's doing real good in training camp. So. You know, he has, the sky's a little bit for us. And you probably saw him pretty consistently throughout the summer, so it's not like you saw him drop one day and then the next two weeks later, 20 pounds later. But when you see him now, what goes through your head compared to what he was? Uh, you know, he, he looks a lot better. He's moving well. You know, he's still, he's still getting off the ball pretty well. So, uh, you know, Lewis, he's, he's a hard worker. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a funny guy also. So, uh, you know, we know we know what you're going to get with Luke when it comes to Lewis on the, on the field and off the field. No problem. Preseason defensive end of the year, motivation or distraction? I just really can't, you know. I would, I don't know if it's a motivation or distraction. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm thankful that I got, you know, on the award watch list or whatever. You know that, you know, that's a blessing and everything. But I gotta, you know, the team first. You know, we gotta win every game. That's my ultimate goal. Is this pretty much the highest the scale is gonna tip, or I mean, any heavier moving down to a three technique or what? Man, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta, you gotta ask Coach Yako and Coach Elson about all that. Yeah. So hopefully I can <laughs> stay where I am.